Hey everybody, it's Mike with Monkey Fab. Welcome back. I've managed to post a couple videos this week, which is like more than I've posted in the last six months. So hooray, hooray me. We have, oops, uh oh. So we have the uh, engine transmission, everything all stuffed up in there. Uh, we got flanges and tubes and pipe pieces and stuff. What we came up with is we need to basically do everything we can to put everything in the car that's going to be in the car when it's actually done. That way we can set the turbo up and not worry about running into anything or having to make changes after the fact. So all this is being said just to tell you guys that, hey, I am going to finish up the radiator so we can get it hung. <laughs> Man, you're verbose, Mike. I know. I apologize. But yeah, we're going to do that, and I'll show you how we laid that out. You've already seen most of it, so let's go grab the pieces and parts. Oh my goodness, I just ate dinner. So we got the fan shroud done, and we just need to put the foamy for the insulation uh, and vibration and stop it from rubbing on each other. And then the top... We just need to put a tab to go to these bolt holes uh, here and here. And then the bottom will do like a little catchy thing. So it'll just slide into the bottom, lean forward, and then bolt into place with a little bit of pressure to push it down into place, holding everything nice and tight against the radiator. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to take, I'm not a, uh, a so, so a lot of people will just weld the fan shrouds onto uh, the radiator. Uh, which is fine. I mean, in most situations, that's going to be fine. Uh, but I always, I always feel like, well, what happens if you know something goes on with the fan or the the shroud or something that you just you need to separate the two, and then you're kind of stuck with the unit, and the only way to get it undone is to cut it. So I've always kind of just preferred the bolt together. But that's just my personal preference, and means absolutely nothing to anyone. So. Let's get this guy, we'll get some uh, denatured alcohol because this is an adhesive back and we'll clean this guy up so the adhesive sticks to it nicely. We'll take that all down and then we'll get some tabs uh, laid out so we can start tacking these guys in place and doing the welding thing. Well, that was easy, huh? The bottom guys are just gonna go like this. So this guy here, we'll just, I've already cleaned this off and bent these guys and this will just clap onto there and we'll just weld it down kind of nice and flush. And then this thing will just be able to drop down into there and then it'll lock on the top. So bottom side is like, yeah.
Okay, so we're getting ready to tack these guys on. So you'll see it's just, it's just a simple tab so that this guy can be unscrewed, lean back, and you can pull the whole shroud up and out or lean it back, slide it in, and then push it forward and it'll lock into place. So that is the whole fan shroud retention slash ceiling system, blah, blah, blah. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, see Bob. We are out of the growing season, so he is officially in the hay eaten, <laughs> which he doesn't stray too far. He doesn't stray too far away from that bill of hay. So back to the Phoenix. When we last left off, I believe I was welding up my super cool. Uh, radiator fan shroud which turned out okay uh, but everything with this car is a <laughs> there's nothing that will be bolted on this car everything will be custom made or designed so uh, now moving the radiator over here and then realizing that I had this wrong so originally I had this guy tucked up underneath here and going under there which seemed to work but it was burning up my belts it was kind of beating them up um so now yeah i mean it's obvious so i got to go to here and over to here but obviously that's in the way so i don't know uh but yeah our fan shroud is on our radiator is in it did buy us uh, the radiator came all the way to here, so we bought, got maybe six inches out of the deal with our factory replacement. Uh, but it could have been factory replacement for not this vehicle, who knows. Uh, which leaves us room for the dryer and all the parts of the air conditioner we need to hang on over here. Uh, what we have to do is figure out where the hell the turbocharger is going to go. So we know that we generally want it somewhere in this area, but we got to take into account all kinds of things like uh this fender wheel this no not over here so we gotta put that guy in we have to figure out how much uh movement the suspension has in it and the answer is quite a lot we're gonna have to uh, reroute transmission cooler lines and i want to build this guy and keep it fully away from our spark plugs and our spark plug wires so that we'll have easy nice maintenance because i'm okay if it fights me tooth and nail the entire time um to put it together if it can be maintained easier although i'll probably just sell this car see my poor my poor volvo wagon that's why i really i really have a a deep a deep seated love for the volvo station wagon uh, so anyway, that's where we're at. I just wanted to kind of update you. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is, like I said, I'm just going to be stuffing everything I can into this engine bay so that we can get an idea of uh, how much space we have to work with and start the mock-up of things that we need to do because we need the turbo to come in here so then we can also mock the air conditioning lines, figure out how they're going to run through here. Uh, turbo to uh, the turbo, uh, cold side, hot side, all those little things. All of those little things that are all quite annoying. And that's why I have no motivation to work on the cars because it just wants to fight me every single step of the way. But we'll keep at it. We'll just keep banging away. I know you all feel this way too, don't you? Tell the truth.